Here entering at Love Life Y Center, Kualanga will be having a very critical yet crucial conversation on culture versus LGBTQI plus community. Different guests have been invited from different backgrounds as expert panelists on their respective stances. On this black car, I was entering, I met one of my guys that I was working with at Heroes Academy as a facilitator last year. Hey. And um, this is such a flamboyant environment, a great place indeed. The weather is cool, let alone the fact that there's also clouds. Lima Tumbandaka, Kodonilanga, Nomile. Hey, we all know the uncertainties and unpredictability of Cape Town weather. Langa for men, Tim. What's the content? Yeah. Yes. We're right here at Love Life. Yeah. <laughs> they are registering here. Oh my God, how I love to always be that early bed in events like this, especially when you're going to be on stage, address people. You get to know them, you get to listen to them, learn from them from different perspectives, you know, interact with them in so many ways. And um, you know, when you listen and learn from people, um, you, you get something new, but when you speak, you only speak what you already know. So, so, so I was up here inspecting the stage that we'll be sitting at as guest panelists as we'll be listening to each other, engaging and um, learning and unlearning sometimes by relearning some concepts on this beautiful theme, culture versus LGBTQI plus community. And, and, and people were still coming in, still coming in. Yeah, there you go. So we study what the youth of 1976 done 
um, because we want to check our present problems. They checked their problem that was existing then and they fought it. Now we as today's youth will check our present problems and fight them. Like it's a spirit of fighting basically what we are facing as the youth. For example, this gathering here, it's celebrating the youth. We are celebrating youth by gathering here. It does not necessarily mean like you'll go and stand in front of the parliament or you will post a picture or whatsoever. Like anything that addresses the present problems and seeks to find solutions of those problems, that's celebrating. And, and other people on this thing of saying um, celebrating youth is nonsensical. So, you want to learn some fun, I yen to sense, until it's best if funda, ukwenza, as a zindo, that sends you a wrong or anything like that. Some people, they do not, they do not regard or take their celebration from the external things. It's from within. Because they are content. I'm content to that as much as I'm from an underprivileged background, but I've been able to stand tall. I am not therefore I'm celebrating my youth yes. era or my youth time. The fact that I'm in Cape Town, I don't have a family, but I'm able to support other people. Mm. I'm celebrating youth for that. Mm. That's my, those are my youth years. I cannot consider the fact that NSFAS is not popping for me, BASAN is not popping for me, therefore I will not celebrate youth. I will celebrate it because I'm content, I'm able to, like, to see my future regardless of what is happening. Mm. Oh my god, this dialogue was already high and hot at this point. I just needed some water. There we go with my speech. Hear the scream of the sun of the soil of Africa. Hear the scream of the sun of the soil of Africa. The tears have teared my filthy face. Am I alone, Africa? This is my scream to my motherland. I've been observing. It's getting out of hand. The puzzling problem from the roots unto the leaves. It's high time I speak out my nerves. Hear the scream of the sun of the soil of Africa. I shall be healed by the harmony amongst our humanity. As long as we are still sick, I shall continue to scream. Scream until a stream of living waters flows and wipes the black on black screens of weeping. Who doesn't want to dance and sing along? Sing along a song of Ubuntu, a song of enlightenment and equity, a song of values and victories, a song of our present time triumph. I want to sing, I want to dance. How I long to dance as I sing along in Kosi Africa. Today I am still pitching, pitching knowing very well that I'm pitching to a sinking Africa. But I want to pitch this in Kosi Africa knowing very well these blessings are already existing. But I am just preaching a progressive classic. Good day, everyone. My name is Lilita. My surname is Nzunduani. I'm 22 years old. And today I am standing as a panelist under this very beautiful theme that says culture versus LGBTQI. A round of applause for me. <laughs> is a very sophisticated phenomenon or system for some people. I think it is very necessary and of critical importance that whenever we speak on the stance of spirituality regarding any, any issue that we are facing as a society, we deliver it or express it in its simplicity. As much as it is sophisticated, you can do your research on your own, meditate on it, digest it. But when you come to the public, 
speak about it in its simplest forms. So I'm standing on the stance of a spiritual panelist under this topic. First of all, when they define spirituality, in general terms they say, it involves the recognition of a feeling or a sense or a belief. Please note these things. A recognition of a feeling, a sense and a belief. That there is something greater than I as a person that is in a divine nature. And they further say it involves being in constant discovery of the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. Just from this definition, I can safely say, whoever says is a pastor, whoever says is a spiritual expert, but as long as you say to me, LGBTQI plus community is anti-spiritual or is not aligned to the will of the spirituality, then you are confused. Because spirituality involves a constant discovery of life, of the meaning of life. So you do not have a right because you are not a divine nature as a human being. When you believe in spirituality, you believe that there is a higher power than you. So whatever preferences that you have as a human being, do not possess any stance. I mean, I don't care what stance, what position, what status, what title, what money you have, what position you are, but you do not have even a 0.000% of interjecting to the discovery of life of another human being. Okay. Yes. I love psychology. Psychology says spirituality is discovering your own inner awareness. It is connected to an overall of a being, being a good person with virtues like forgiving, kindness, generosity, and all such. These are the basic things, right? Mm. Forgiving, humility, kindness, these are the basic things. But psychology says, if you do not have these things, then your spirituality ought to be questioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so if you're going to come and say to me, I, I, I would like to be kind to you, but because you are believing in these values, I refrain to being kind, then I shall question spirituality. Mm -hmm. Because spirituality allows any being to be himself or to be herself. Spirituality allows you to be humble enough to understand that this person can navigate his own spirituality in his own way. Because he has his way of listening to the divine power that you do not understand. And you have your own way of listening to your own divine power. As much as sometimes we find that I'm a Christian, he's a Christian. But, but at the same time, we do not have the same way of believing. Okay. He, he will believe that I can date before marriage. I will believe that do not date before marriage. But we are in the same belief that we are Christianity. Same thing. Allow that person to listen to his own divine power. Because, because that person is in his own self-discovery of the meaning of life. Are we all together? Yeah. Yeah. As I'm about to conclude, I'd like to, to give you a definition of spirituality in terms of Africanity. Mm -hmm. Here it is. It may involve religious traditions centering in a higher power, but it can also involve a holistic belief mm -hmm. in an individual connection. In an individual connection. Yes. I'd love to, to, to underline this. It does not start in a group. Mm. It does not start a bushant in a crawl. Exactly. It does not start with Guru. By it is a woman. Zonga is a zito zayo. Am I It does not start there. Spirituality does not start there. Spirituality starts from within. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. It starts from within. Yeah. I hear you. So, so I believe that it can never be African culture that that is committed to dehumanization of people. It can never be African culture because African culture involves a holistic belief. A holistic belief allows diversity. Yes. A, a holistic belief promotes diversity. Mm. A holistic belief um, is in search of a ground that how can we come to a reality of umtu, umtu. That's the African culture that I know. The African culture that I know says no man is an island. Mm. So if we're going to allow politicians, oh, this is a very important thing. We should not equate the political power to the, the culture. Because, um, for example, we have a president in Uganda that said, that said we can sign a policy that is anti-gay, right? That was the political power. My research shows that politicians that are against homosexuality usually get a number of votes, right? So they will try by all means to find ways to support homophobia because they want the number of votes. So we cannot say on the stance of the political power and say that is our culture. Because I've heard people saying it is our culture that, um, that prohibits homosexuality. That's our culture. But the same culture that says umtu, umtu habatu, the same culture that, that wants to promote diversity. Are you saying that's the African culture? No, it can never be. Thank you so much. So after each and every one of us as the panelists delivered, the audience was given an opportunity to comment or ask any questions based on their points of interest. Culture was created by people. That's the first thing we should know. It was created by people. It is not, it is not a divine nature. It was created by people for people. In a specific time that suited them for that time. So, so we cannot aim to steal, to kill, to destroy. We just cannot. Let's take an example. We, I, I know this. It happened. Uncle of this family raped the, the, the niece of this family, and the family got it. Because we are activists, we want to take that further to the law. But the family said, no, you cannot do that. Masi car. Do you understand? Do you understand? That, that's the toxicity that the culture can carry. But it was working back then. Right? But nowadays we are aware. We are aware of the things that are happening. So we cannot, we just cannot continue to embrace that. Right? So we need to be aware that because it was created by people, then it is the very same people that can say, take a stand, take a stand that we should change it. Suit Tina in the time that we are living at. Yes. Um, Ulu Yolo was the program director, my colleague in poetry, my poet is a poet, um, Sadiq Brun, um, we've been colleagues with Jennifer, Mr. South Africa. Thank you so much, guys. This has been a very enlightening and refreshing space, honestly speaking. Thank you so much for your courage. It's not something that you just wake up and think of doing such such things because it's issues that are very sensitive. Um, so it's issues that you find that um, um, so many things and bloods are even shed because of such um, issues. So to actually host people, different people coming from different backgrounds and say so you're going to gather them for such a thing. Um, he believes in Islam, um, I believe in Christianity, but we're sitting together in the same chair mm -hmm. and we are sharing without fighting. Yeah. We are sharing with educating, you know. So it's, a, it's, it's a very great. It's very great. Thank you guys once again. Wow. To sum up my stance, I was a panelist on the stance of spirituality based on the theme of LGBTQI plus community and, um, and culture. We need to understand that spirituality is greater or is higher than culture. Spirituality is greater or higher than opinion. 
Spirituality is greater and higher than just a feeling. Spirituality is divine. Spirituality cannot be really affected by mere opinions. Yes. Spirituality cannot be affected by mere feeling, by a mere choice of saying maybe um, I'm choosing a, a particular gender, therefore that affects my spirituality. No. no. Spirituality is higher than that. Right? So that's the first thing that I want. Um, that it, it, should, it should be a truth that is instilled in us. Spirituality is divine. It is greater than anything that a politician can say. It is greater than anything that you may think about somebody else. And also the other thing that we should understand is that for our daily lives, spirituality consists or is, is shown or illustrated in these three aspects, which is relationships, values, and purpose of life. It's those three things that consist of spirituality. Purpose of life, I don't know your purpose of life, therefore I don't have a right to intention to it. Right? And then coming to values, your values will align to your purpose of life. Therefore, again, even the things that you value, I don't have a right to interject to them. And then coming to relationships, this is where we get conflict. Relationship starts from within. We have a domestic policy of a relationship. The relationship that, that, that means how you deal with yourself. That's a domestic policy of a relationship. Then we have a foreign policy, which means how you relate, how you support people. That's, that's where the conflict is. People haven't dealt with themselves. Now they are protruding and they, 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 are, they are insecurities of lacking that truth of dealing with yourself. Then they are transferring that to other people and insinuate that this is how you should live. This is, these are the correct values. This is the correct purpose of life, okay. of which that is not spirituality. To sum up, on the spirituality thing, we're likely to, to, to confine spirituality into a Bible. I will, I will close with a very controversial thing. A Bible, we, 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 we know according to history, it comes from the Western culture, right? Yes. Right? It, I believe in the Bible, but it comes from the Western culture. That's a historical truth. It comes from the Western culture. I believe in it. The same Bible that the pastors, that the ministers, or whoever says is spiritual enough to be anti-gay. It is the same Bible that they say it, it is homophobic, it is against homosexuality, it is against LGBTI. Why the same Bible that came from Western people say LGBTI, that African culture believes it comes from Western people, is against it? I don't know if I make sense. The Bible comes from Western culture and the African culture believes that LGBTQI comes from Western culture. It is not our thing, right? It is us, African people, that say LGBTI comes from Western culture. It is us who say Bible comes from the Western culture. So why are we going to fight spirituality against LGBTI? Does it make sense? We cannot, we cannot, we cannot be absolute or hold the truth of spirituality by just a choice. Yeah. By just a mere culture. Thank you very much.